Yeah, so uh, I I have to start back on nicotine again. I broke the streak. So, you know, I think it was Sunday. I was so proud of myself that I did well. And uh, because of that, you know, I was like, oh, maybe I should have a have a little smoke to celebrate. And once that thought gets into my head, it is so hard to shake off. Um, so it's a lesson learned for me, and I need to start back over again. And um, yeah, tomorrow's a brand new day, no nicotine. So I'm not gonna think too much about it. I'm just gonna keep going. I mean, the goal still stands. I want to make you know 30 day streak on nicotine. Uh, on no nicotine so uh, other than that I think all the other uh, habits I'm tracking toward you know I got up early 6 a.m. today took a shower stuck to the routine um, made time to go and lift weight and it was pouring outside today but I I made an effort to it I put on a headset and the, the one thing I learned about weightlifting as I go go to the gym is that I really try not to put a goal in what I do because when I'm in a gym I just want to exercise just want to put the time in uh, I think it's too early for me to set these huge goals of uh, you know lifting or, or squatting 300 pounds or squatting 400 pounds twice my weight uh, I want to just go there and exercise do five six sets of squats do another exercise do some pull-ups and just focus in the you know the, the process you know focus on the process of sticking to my habit because I think my goal is to stick to my habits, not to be a you know CrossFit champ uh, or some squatting champion. I think once you put in the time on certain things, then maybe after three months or four months of consistently doing it, then I might realize something different. And I think that's a lot of, a lot of the pitfalls I I had, and when I was a kid, is that I have these goals, and these goals seem so far, and it seems so unreachable that it almost demoralizes me, in the beginning. I I, w I would think so much about doing certain things, and in the end, I don't. You know, any sort of discouragement, I see that as a me not committing to a lifetime of doing certain things, right? And I think that's always that's always something I need to overcome because the goals I set for myself, it's a lifetime worth of commitment. You know, for instance, when I was doing jujitsu. Everyone, if you start doing jiu-jitsu, you want to get that black belt. Well, how long does that black belt take? Ten years. You know, five to ten years to get it. So, if your goal is set that far away, any sort of discouragement you get in the first month, the second month of doing certain things, it detracts you from you making a good habit of actually doing it. So, yeah, so that's a thought I have. So I'm just going to stick to the plan, put my time in. As you can see right now, I am meditating at 7 p.m. I should have done it early in the morning, but, you know, I have some early meetings and just kind of the thought passed me uh, but you know I, I stuck to it I still 
I still put in the time to do the, you know, to do the meditation. I put in the time to do the journal, and I find that the best time for me to write the journal is right when I pick up my son. I sit him down. That's a good midpoint for me to, you know, summarize my day and see what other things I'm left to do, and if I can make those habits up uh, by the night. So I'm gonna stick to that. And see how that goes. Um, but overall, yeah, I I think it was a success for the day. The nicotine really kind of, you know, it. I wish I would have had that streak, but sometimes my urge just overcomes it. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start back from day one again. Peace out.